All right, now the bumper is moved out to 28 feet as we look at John Azona and MC's Rollins. The four year old Belgian Malinois whip it mix. Missed it. 28 feet, so we're not only talking distance, but check the height. They have to maintain that height to be able to grab that bumper. It does have to come down. They can't just knock it. So each dog gets that second attempt to try and readjust and make it happen. All right, second attempt. And just to give you an idea of things that are 28 feet, the interior aisle oh, short. of a school bus is 28 feet. Imagine leaping pretty much over a bus. Oh, that puts perspective on it. Jumping over a bus, not quite making it right there for MC Rollins on the second attempt. So he will not advance. Melissa Ness, strong competitor, along with MC Falker, the four-year-old border whip it mix. <laughs> Missed it. A lot of dogs struggling at the 28-foot bumper mark. Now, of course, they're only here if they've cleared the 27-foot mark where we saw all those jumps happening, but a foot out. So it's a big adjustment to make. We're not talking inches. They're having to jump an entire foot further. Second attempt for Falker. Nope. That looked close. That looked really close for the three-time Western Regional Champs. But no bumper right up to the edge. They've got to maximize that distance. It looked like maybe the height didn't just maintain on that one as everyone watches on and the big disappointment that no, it did not come down. Moving on to Stradale and Erica Nestor, the two year old whippet. Stradale is actually the son of Sounders, the world record holder. He'll be coming oh. up next, but the sun goes at it first <laughs> with a miss on that first attempt. Sounder still has some teaching to do. <laughs> some big shoes or paws yep, to fill, exactly. I guess would be the saying, but that was really close. So now we're going to have to see if Stradale can correct and just maintain that height for a couple more inches. 28 feet and oh, yes. Stradale nails it. Right up to the edge of the dock. That was an impressive adjustment to get the height wow. and maintain that <laughs> distance. And wow, that was a definite grab. So Stradale putting pressure on Papa Sounders. <laughs> <laughs> and there they are, Sounders and Laurel Banky making their way to the stage. They're not only world record holders, but also the four-time Fetch It national champions. That just never been, I don't feel like, our best event. I feel like diving is our best event, but he's always done great at Fetch It. He's won four of the five last years. So um, last year when we came here for finals, I was not sure, again, if, if he would be up to the level of the competition because so many dogs have been getting so close to breaking his record. You wanna make sure that the whole world knows how great your dog is and sees him at his potential, sees him at his best. So when they put it out to 30 feet, six inches, that's two and a half feet farther. And I thought, well, I, you know, if they want me to try, I guess I'll try. Sure, you know, it'll be fine. One more jump, we'll give it a shot, huh? Oh, oh my gosh! Wow! And just when you thought dogs couldn't fly. <laughs> wow! Sounders! A new incredible dog challenge, fetch it record. When he got it, I couldn't have been more shocked. I was just like, I, you can see it on my face in the thing we watch, and it's like, I don't know how you did that, but and he he hasn't done it again, <laughs> so. But he, you know, at eight and a half, he was setting world records, so we'll see. Um, he's nine and a half now. We'll see if, uh, you know, any. I don't know if any world records are in his future, but we're gonna try, somebody. Incredible, Shaleen, 30 feet, six inches was that world record. So here we go with the nine-year-old Whippet Sounders. Oh, missed it on attempt Just number one. Short. Oh, but what a legend here. 36 feet, the record. This is at 28 feet. We know he can go that far but just not getting the distance there on this first jump. So 
Daddy Sounders trying to hold on and defend the national title against his son. Oh, just shy of the bumper and does not get it. Sounders is out. Not getting up all the way to the edge of the dock. That could have got him some more distance. But hey, if you got to go out, none better than to have it be done by your son. It's all in the genes. Well, Sounders still holds down that world record of 30.6. So Stradale still has some work to do there. But nevertheless, a change of guard. Stradale, the new national champion in Fetch It. Eric and Nestor, the handler, elated. What a day to have your personal best jumping at the national championship finals, beating the dogs that were of such high caliber. Talk about today in the jumping. I mean, it was amazing. You have the top competitors in Fetch It were here today, and, um, it, and even the world record holder, Sounders, which just happens to be Stradale's dad. Um, so it's very bittersweet. Um, I want to see all of everyone do their very best, but for us to come out and, and set some personal best on this huge stage is just amazing. Well, he's dancing right now. He's so happy. Congratulations, national championship title. Keeping it in the family. Great job.